Now they paired these guys up to shoot two at a time. We're going to show them to you with split screen. On the right, you will see Kiki Vanderway. On the left, just out of your screen right now, will be Dale A. Ellis. Remember, now they are trying to eliminate four of the top eight. Even though these two guys are shooting at the same time, they are not competing with each other. There goes the siren. One minute clock is underway. There are four brown balls and one red, white, and blue ball in each station. Nick, they must launch these things really about it. one ball every second and a half or two seconds. Well, they can't waste time. Kiki, you see, jumping much higher than Dale Ellis. That may inhibit his ability to get all of those shots off. Ellis off to a good shot. He's hit two of the two pointers already. You see he's to the third rack. Kiki's still shooting on the second rack. I don't know if Kiki get finished. Dale Ellis just now finishing with his third rack going to the fourth. They have one minute to launch all of these shots and most of the time when we were watching them practice they could get them loose and now Vandeway is starting to loosen up a little. Remember that red, white and blue ball is worth two points and also there's an official out there watching their feet. If they touch the line before they shoot the ball, it will not count if the ball goes in, just like in regular competition. You can see Kiki's not, I don't think, going to get them all off. And Dale Ellis finished long before the 60 seconds of music, but Kiki Vandeway is going to be only one or two balls short. This one does not count. The two-pointer won't count for Kiki Vandeway, and it looks as though Dale Ellis is going to have the advantage here. Very quickly, we will get the first score. Dale Ellis unofficially with 13, and Vandeway with 12.